With the DJ58 finally being nerfed, these are the top short and long range loadouts that you should be using. And then we are going to talk about the legal aimbot that has been handed out to everybody by Call of Duty themselves. In first place for the long range meta, we have the SOA Subverter. And the only reason you guys did not hear about it in the previous season, although it was technically better than the DG, is because the DG had minimal or no recoil at all. And what I love about the SOA is that its time to kill is so low that it can kill any meta SMG up close if you pre-aim and fire first. In second place, we got the MTZ 556 AR. With these attachments, its effective damage at range is up to 50 meters. Add to that an amazing time to kill, minimal recoil and a fast fire rate this weapon is actually one of the best weapons to run on the resurgence maps and just like the SOA it competes with SMGs up close as for the close range meta there is only one SMG that you should be using which is the new Superi 46 and specifically this loadout now some of you will say but the FGX Horus has a better time to kill yes but only by 20 milliseconds and its damage at range is not that good 20 milliseconds is not a lot Add to that, the strafe speed on this SMG will break rotational aim assist. That cannot be done by any other SMG in the game. Add to that, it has amazing movement, amazing range. It's the best SMG without any doubt. But if you want to use other options, in second place, we got the FGX Horus. And in third place, we got the WSP-9. I also have one more honorable mention, which is the WSP Stinger Akimbo Handgun. Technically, it has a better time to kill than any other SMG, but that's only under the condition that you are very close to them. And now for the legal aimbot that Call of Duty is handing out. This week's challenge introduced the Jack Conversion Kit for the Castor 545 and the 762. I'll tell you from now, the 762 is better than the 545. And as you can see, this weapon has no recoil whatsoever. But please do not let anybody fool you and tell you that this is now the meta just because it has zero recoil. It's time to kill is really bad and I tried it for more than 10 matches and most of the times I was breaking armor and that was it. But if you want to have fun and experience what it feels like to have aimbot without actually cheating, this is your go-to. And please do not use this weapon if you're not using the high grain ammo. Its damage at range is already bad and you will need it to make it as effective as possible. And of course the CAR-98 is still dominant when it comes to actual long range meta. But overall I feel like Warzone 3 is now a combination of Warzone 1 and Warzone 2. Do you guys see the same thing? And if so, how do you feel about it?